Hi everyone, it's Stephanie. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to be sharing with you a thank you card and a loaded envelope. Um, I actually finished this a couple weeks ago, but since I've been sick, I haven't had a chance to film it, so I'm excited to finally be sharing it with you. For the paper that I used for both the envelope and the thank you card, it's from this um, American Crafts Paper Stack by Maggie Holmes. Love this paper. I've been hoarding it for a while. It's got some vellum sheets in there. Um, but I was like, I'm going to break into it. So, use that. The card base, here's the thank you card. The card base is made from the paper, and it's like this, you know, legal type pattern. And, um, and the front is pretty much covered up, but that's there. And then I have layered on top of that a vellum piece that's kind of like a greenish blue with clouds all over it. And then on top of that, I have some cheesecloth. And then this rose flower uh, laces from craft supplies for you and then on top of that I have this spellbinders die that's cut from the paper and then this chandelier wood piece is from Michaels that I got a long time ago I painted it cream and then I I heat embossed it with some shabby white frontage powder Yep. and then this pink trim is a recollections trim that I got a long time ago it comes with the pearls down the middle and then this thank you is a Heidi Swap die cut. This flower was gifted to me by Misty. Thanks, Misty. And then in the middle, I have a recollections embellishment. I also have this lace down here. It's from my stash. I can't remember where I got that. And then around the outside of the card, I have that um, rosette trim from Hobby Lobby. For the inside, I just left it blank. I have um, a couple layers in here, this like wood grain paper layer that's from the collection and then just white cardstock. So, oh, and then I have um, some seam binding and then this arrow heart charm tied into the middle. And then this is one of my scrap, scrap paper butterflies with a flower from Craft Supplies for You in the middle. So that's the card. Happy with how it turned out. And then for the envelope, just, shift my camera up here a little bit. I made my own because um, some of the things that I wanted to put in there wouldn't fit in a regular 6x9 envelope so I just ended up making one out of cardstock and then covering it with the paper. I just um, chose a few different um, papers and then just made all my tags and stuff from that. So uh, I decided to do my cluster on the side because I really wanted to use this Prima Vine so it starts here and then goes all the way up and then I just fill it in the space with a whole bunch of flowers from my stash. I have, this is a recollections one, here's some pink flowers from Craft Supplies for You as well as the white ones. Um, this is a Prima flower, there's a lily in there and there's some Wild Orchid Crafts and then I just did the same thing for along the folds of the envelope too. Just found coordinating uh, flowers that match the paper and then I just let, you know went all the way up for that and I have some cheesecloth underneath the flowers as well kinda of some peeking out through here on that side too so for the edge I have this lace this white lace is from Craft Supplies for You and then this pink trim is from Joann's that I got a long time ago did that all the way around the edge of the envelope the outside edge and then um, this lace is from my stash. I can't remember where I got that. Then I made a whole bunch of tags. I just, um, let's see here. What I did was I papered it and then I stamped um, some sentiments from this Dina Wakely clear stamp collection. I love all the sayings on here. And then I, I used black ink and then I embossed it with some clear, clear embossing powder. Yeah. So this one says, From My Heart to Yours. This one says kindle your spark of madness then I have just a little clothespin clip from Michaels with one of my butterflies on there and then this one says stay kind and each of them just has some white seam binding tied to the top this one says magic is something you make and then this one says keep taking chances I tried some pink ink to see 
or no, this is pink embossing powder to see what it was like. And I used white ink underneath it and I didn't like it. So I went back. I just kept stayed with the black ink for the rest of them. Uh, I have a paper clip that I made here out of some lace, a bow one. This is um, the embroidered lace from Craft Supplies for You. And, and I just kind of made like a my own stencil out of what I thought a bow would look like. And then I just cut it out of lace and did that. And let's see here. This rose is from Craft Supplies for You. It's so pretty. I love it. So I thought it went very nicely with the paper. Tucked that in there. I made a pinwheel. It's my first one. It was fun. It was easy. I, I don't know why I've never made them before. But so this is from the paper and um, the paper collection. And I don't. You can't really see, but I did put Wink Stella all over the the white parts. So maybe I might put more. It's in real life. You can really see it. But anyhow, that's the pinwheel. And then I have this um, wand. Paper mache wand I got at Joann's a long time ago. I have a lot of these actually. But what I did was I covered it with tissue paper. I used some multimedia mat for it. So that's the tissue paper. And then over top of that, I used this um, Blings paint from Shimmers. And it's kind of like a textured glitter paint. And so that went all over the wand. And I like how that turned out too. And then for the back of the envelope, I have this um, this cotton lace going all the way around, and then I have this lace that I sprayed and dyed with, let's see, Heidi Swap, I use this Color Shine and Sea Foam. And then here's some more of that Hobby Lobby trim. And then um, I made some tags for the back too, so this one says Handmade For You. And then this one, I just made a mega large tag. <laughs> and I'm going to put my letter, I'm going to, that's, because I think I'm not going to write in the card. I'm just going to put, I'm going to write a letter here and then, um, and then send that out. And then for the back, I have this doily that's from Craft Supplies for You too. And I just put some flowers on these clothespins to attach it so that it comes off and then they can use it too. So that's my project share. I hope you guys like it. It was a lot of fun to make and I can't wait to send it out. So Thank you everybody for watching. Let me know what you think and I hope you have a great day.